What up, Scopies? We'll be, uh, we'll be starting soon. Presentation starts at 2 p.m. Nebraska time. I don't know what time that is California time, but it's soon. I think the minutes are the same. Two hours different. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's the same minutes. So whenever the minutes go to zero, zero, that's when the presentation will start. Maybe we'll give everyone a few minutes. We got a bit of a crowd here. This is off season for the college. So, um, yeah. Let's shell for our products while we got a minute. Here's a, here's a 128 gigabyte Eon that will be available for sale right here in Omaha. We have a box full of Kama AI pandas. We are gonna be presenting. What's up, Vanilla Gorilla? Uh, and we have a Toyota Giraffe right here. Midnight Black. Who's talking about Midnight Black? Where do you hear about Midnight Black? All right, we got some, we got some people here. We got some media here. We're gonna be nice to the media. Yeah, we're gonna be nice to the media. On the tour, yeah, some of the some of the cities are fake news. Am I gonna talk about Slam? No, I'm not gonna talk about Slam. Um, it's a pretty straightforward overview presentation. It's gonna be similar to my Web Summit presentation, but with less bullshit. Bitcoin Cash Wallet. Uh, no, we're not gonna talk about Bitcoin Cash. Uh, though, if you guys want to check out something new, I found it last night. It's called the Swift Life. It's the number two app in the App Store. It is a social network which gives you direct access to Taylor Swift. And you guys know that I'm a, I'm a Taylor Swift fan. So you guys might want to download the Swift Life. I'm a level two on the Swift Life. I'm working on my Taymoji game. You got to get Taymojis. I'm such a shill. These people don't even pay me, man. Um, no, 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 there won't really be unveilings, slam anything on mapping. Oh, no, 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 nothing new. I mean, you got to realize that a lot of people who are coming here uh, don't really know that much about us. So it's a pretty, uh, yeah, make comma for trains with overspeed warning, seriously. Um, no, it's, it's, it's really sad. Whenever trains crash, I'm just like, dude, positive train control has existed for years. Unions are killing people. Yeah, I'm excited for the future too. I love, I love the future. You guys know I love the future. How many disengagements? A lot. It's like one every, it's like, it's like you know, we're, we're, we're a little beyond one every 10 miles now. So consider we've driven like 2,000 miles, probably around 200. Uh, we, can, we can maybe compile together some statistics on number of disengagements. Any insurance stuff? You guys know I'm not talking about business, man. Um, am I missing for hacking? No. Not really. Self-driving cars. I like winning, you know. All right. I'm gonna wait two more minutes, guys. Two more minutes. I know it's as bad as The Bachelor when they're like, "Who's gonna get the rose?" The Bachelor was the original. The Bachelorette. See the video of the pilot port? Oh, you guys got one up. That's pretty sweet. Say hi to the Scopies. Hi, Scopies. Viv, I thought you didn't like the way your voice sounded on Periscope. But I don't rewatch, but when I'm talking, uh, if I didn't, didn't like the way my voice sounded, I would never speak. Your voice, your voice sounds great on Periscope. Okay, that's great. No, I do. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> you want to say hi to Scopies, Eddie? Nah. No? Nah? Eddie doesn't want to say hi to you guys. Um, shame about Slam. If you want to talk about Slam sometime, we'll talk about Slam sometime. You know me. No secrets, bro. No secrets, bro. Five minutes, come in, come into the, come into the Scopey Lounge. Join all these people. Real life Scopies. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I got my, got my combo beanie on. Am I about to give a talk? Yes. How's the weather? It's a little cold. Um, am I still working on deep learning slam? Sort of, yeah, kind of. We're working on unsupervised depth nets. I'm like, Slam requires memory and deep learning doesn't really work well with memory. So there's that. Like people talk about it, but it's, 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 there's no memory, right? Um, whereas like Slam in a room is quite different from Slam on a road. Uh, any tips for people working on self-driving cars? Join us or die. 
<laughs> um, that, that is going to be one of the themes of 2018. And the other theme is going to be outwit, outplay, outlast. I came up with that myself. Don't think I ripped that off. No, y'all know I ripped it off. Y'all know, y'all know. Am I nervous? I swear to God, I ain't nervous. You know, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne? Um, Lil Wayne, man, that guy's a genius. Uh, no, actually, I'm really not nervous. Um, hats for sale. No, we don't sell the hats. And guys, <laughs> if you think hoodies are overpriced now, we're gonna, we're gonna be like Martin Screlly where we're raising those prices. All right, we ready to start? Yeah, I'm gonna do a quick announcement. Cool. Who's, who's holding, who's holding the Scopies? All right. Side, we have a USB port and Wi-Fi. 
to the point of the hearing aspect. I think it's just being live class, but that cost factor is really looking for. It's an interface, universal. Now, the pan repair is a chipper. So when you're driving without a dash cam app, you can connect it to your pan app, and you can record all of the uh, sensors from your car. If you have a modern car, and they have two cup names, your car has a ton of sensors. Individual wheel speed sensors, steering angle sensors, steering torque sensors. How hard you're pressing the pedal, whether the doors are open, whether your seatbelt is locked, whether um, how much gas is left in your tank. And then we built this tool called Kabam. So after you've recorded your driver's panda, you can access all of these sensors in your car. And you guys can all try this out at kabama.com or .ai. Synchronize with the video so you can see over here, this is like your car has an accelerometer in it. So you can see the accelerometer compared to the, uh, the video. So the next step of the journey is that we have a model and we have a interface. We need a place to run the model. So then maybe we put a computer in the car. It is a it is a browser here. Uh, I have a computer in my car, but it's like that's stupid. No, I'm gonna pull up someone's house. Then when I we got only five minutes for the computer to turn off. But it's really cool at home, so you got an app left. So what do you do when you want to ship a computer? You know, that's all in the case. Um, they can just use a straight up phone for a few reasons. Phones can't dissipate that much heat. So if you have a phone mounted on the windshield, you dissipate maybe two or three watts before it starts to overheat. This has a heat sink in the pan and can dissipate up to 15 watts. Um, now, if you're generating 15 watts of heat, you also need 15 watts of power. How do you get the power from that? So the phone doesn't have to do this either. Phones can either usually fast charge or communicate over USB. We've modified this phone to be able to do both. Connect it to your camera with a USB cable, just USB to USB. And it can charge 5 volts, 3 amps, as well as communicate with your car over the camera. So that's what, uh, what you can find. And then there's sort of the crown jewel, which is Ultrapilot. Ultrapilot is free software, free is available on our GitHub. At the end of 2016, 2016 we were uh, mulling around the idea of selling a consumer product it's called the Combo One. Mobile shipping, one thousand dollars. Mobile ship a self-driving car for under a thousand dollars by the end of the year. Um, we didn't ship that consumer product for a whole host of reasons. Um, we were just giving the plans away for free. So that's what we see on the left: the Common Neo, which was kind of like the Gen One of the Eon. Um, that purple board you see there, some of that stuff eventually went into the Panda. And we open sourced our driving agent. So it could be available on GitHub, and it's called OpenPilot. OpenPilot is like Tesla Autopilot for common cars. It's pretty much the same thing. We support select Hondas and Toyotas. Uh, pretty soon we're going to support six of the top ten cars sold in America. And the top three are pickup trucks. The next six are Honda's and Toyota's. And sneaking in at position 10 is a Nissan Rogue. Uh, now, it's cool because it's open source. So there are open source forks for other cars. People have modified OpenPilot to work on the Chevy Volt, the Tesla Model S, and I think just a few more of those that come. So we have a little video here. We have a little market and get to the video and the website.
point that the jailer you should not touch this material at all. But this was a mistake at the time. So we were going to do this, this is how we were going to do this. This is how we, uh, you know, not a problem that the card is contained in that data, but as you can see, the card is the gas break security. Um, and over the long period of time, we, we, we stream it on Twitter. We, we, we periscope our, our experience with the system. There's lots of videos out on YouTube. You want to leave? 